And considering our weather, this morning was the coldest so far this winter. Meteorologist Evan Thomason shows us how cold we got. It's cold. Eight below. Waterfalls closed. It's shut down. And looks like uh, we're going to need some warm weather to get that water flowing again. Temperatures dropped below zero for most of eastern Idaho and western Wyoming this morning. The incoming Arctic air made some very brutal wind chills outside. In some areas we had uh, very cold temperatures and winds less than 10 miles an hour producing wind chills minus 40, minus 50 or so. I know up towards the uh, Montana border uh, we had some wind chills this morning right around the low minus 60s and that's simply because of the, cold, the stronger winds spilling over the divide. In fact, most city streets and parks were left barren. The Greenbelt and Idaho Falls only had a few individuals willing to brave the cold. Well, every day I step out and go, okay, no wind blowing, I don't need to have my scarf, but today's, it seems to be comfortable walking as long as you dress for it. Good, good gloves and yeah, we're good to go. It seems like we will see a bigger crowd gathering in for the holiday weekend here. Temperatures are projected to be warmer heading into the new year. It does look like there's trending above normal temperatures, which would put us uh, potentially overall above freezing. But again, you know, uh, it could be a few days of really cold and then a few several days of really warm above normal temperatures to put us at that. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Evan Thomason.